What's going on guys? Last NASCAR fan here and welcome back to another uh, NASCAR Authentics review video. This video will be going through the wave three of the 2022 NASCAR Authentics. I finally acquired all of it so we'll get right down to it. The first car we have here is the 2022 Josh Berry Tire Pros Chevrolet Camaro for Junior Motorsports. Um, good car to select for the wave primarily because Josh Berry is growing very well in the NASCAR world. Fans are increasing as well as Tire Bro Pros, his sponsor, excuse me, is kind of like a home-based company for me because they began close at my, around my area. Most of these all come with the should come with a sticker or a magnet. Looks like a sticker. We'll go on to the second car. It's the Kevin Harvick Hunt Brothers Pizza Ford Mustang. Solid scheme as well, except it, it's look. It looks really fuzzy in some areas. Uh, yeah. So I mean, pretty simple wave. Wave three is just very simple, kind of. Nothing really stands out too much, sadly. Kyle Larson's HendrickCars.com, Chevrolet Zero One Camaro. Um, yet again, another car that. Are you fucking kidding me? Did they. Or is that the Larson? I think that's Larson's logo. I thought it was an error. You're gonna find errors on, any, on all of these, anyways. There's going to be paint chips or there's going to be something wrong with your car easily. Uh, fourth car in here is everyone's favorite driver. I'm just kidding, but it's one of my favorite drivers. Chase Elliott's Hooters, Chevrolet Seal 1 Camaro. I'm not really a big fan of the, the Hooters car this year, actually. It doesn't really appeal to me. I really like the Night Owl paint scheme from 2020, 2021 that he, that he drove. That's probably my favorite that Elliot drove, but I'll, I'll always will love the 91, 92, 93 Alan Kowicki Hooters Ford, as well as the 2002, 2003 Brett Hooters scheme. It's just right now Elliot's Hooters scheme. Not that appealing, in my opinion. Fight me, Chase Elliott fans. Um, next car here is the 2022 Ryan Blaney Libman Menards Ford Mustang, and you can already tell by, look at that, unbelievable. Yep, the Ryan Blaney um, driver name is crooked. What else are you going to expect, though, for freaking six bucks, though? What a joke. Up the die cast price and continue to get crap quality like this. 2022 Kyle Busch, uh, M&M's Toyota. Yeah, with Mars leaving the sport, they kind of pulled the ultimate middle finger and were just too lazy to say, yeah, we're just not going to allow any more Mars product diecast. So no Snicker cars, no Halloween M&M car, and no final M&M ride car, which is kind of stupid. So you want to go towards those schemes? Custom diecast, aka the, aka the black market, is your friend. Got another one of Kyle Busch's teammates, though. It's Christopher Bell's uh, DeWalt Toyota Camry. Uh, pretty nice. Yet these are all really fuzzy looking. The quality is so bad. Um, second to last one is the number 24 William Byron Exalta Chevrolet Z01 Camaro. Very solid car to choose, I, I would say, I suppose. Hopefully, Wave 4 will be a bit better. But I doubt it because they're trying to get their feet wet with this stupid next-gen mold. And it's they're taking their time, like, too much at this point. Because we're only going to have, like, four waves of die-cast this year. Maybe five. But then hopefully next year they'll be better about it. Uh, but if that's this is the Alex Bowman ally. Uh, primary kind of nice to have the primary for once because I I didn't I wasn't able to find his primary one from last year in the authentics which really sucked but yeah that's gonna do it thanks for watching comment like subscribe hit the notification bell for brand new videos I'll see you in the next video take care guys have a good one keep on collecting.